Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary and Dev channels, which is the build 26085 for version 24H2, of course. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary and Dev channels. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the Tech Based channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. This video is sponsored by private internet access. A virtual private network or VPN for shorts hides your IP address and safeguards your internet connection through an encrypted tunnel. Streaming services such as Netflix have different library options based on where you are located. Using private internet access, you will be able to watch those shows or movies that are not available in your current location. Make sure to check out private internet access in the links from the description below for a great deal. 83% discount and 4 months free. First of all, we have a feature that is temporarily disabled in this build and that is the new pointer indicator accessibility setting for low vision Windows users. And um, this was disabled because Microsoft wants to fix some bugs with it and it will be most likely re-enabled in future builds. Microsoft is also announcing new hearing aid section, which will be available for users who have Bluetooth LE audio capable assistive hearing devices. And they can now set up this and manage their devices through this page. This new accessibility allows the users to check their PC's compatibility for Bluetooth LE audio and pair slash manage a set of hearing devices for a more streamlined configuration. Now, as you can see in my case, your PC doesn't support Bluetooth LE audio hearing devices. Also, as discovered by Phantom Mission 3, this enable pseudo section in settings system and for developers has a little change. Basically, now it has a description and a learn more button. Basically, it says running the pseudo command could expose your device and personal data to security risks or harm your device. As discovered by Phantom Mission 3, we also have a new notepad app update in the settings section especially. So I'm going to full screen notepad pad and then click on the settings section you're going to notice this new animation whenever you're opening settings and also settings are now categorized into section appearance text formatting opening notepad opening files with the drop down where you can select open a new tab or open a new window also when notepad starts and also notepad will be getting spell check and also autocorrect soon so you're just going to see some screenshots from phantom mission 3 here of how those options would look in the near future this is not a huge build most of the highlights from this build are fixes but we're also going to mention some fixes in this build. For example, in general fixes, Microsoft fixed the underlying issue believed to be the cause of shutdown and hibernation not working in the previous flight. Related to File Explorer, Microsoft fixed the issue where the context menu File Explorer was missing an acrylic background. Fixed an issue where when opening the context menu File Explorer, the icons might appear out of place and overlapping text. I've had this on the Canary channel. Fixed an issue which was causing File Explorer to leak GDI objects and heap memory for every folder navigation, leading to stability and rendering issues over time. Fixed a memory leak when interacting with our high folders in File Explorer, fixed an issue causing thumbnails in File Explorer to sometimes unexpectedly be black in the previous flight. Microsoft also fixed some things related to sudo, it was not working for some insiders, and also fixed an issue with some sudo commands. Related to Windows security, Microsoft fixed a high-hitting Windows security app crash in the previous flight, which is believed to potentially be the cause of insiders reporting that the Windows security app icon in the system tray was sometimes missing in that flight. Also related to input with this build, the recent issues with the mouse cursor disappearing, and other recent and issues related to the mouse cursor behaving abnormally should be fixed. Related to settings, fix an underlying issue which was causing settings to freeze sometimes so you couldn't interact with any of the pages. And they also fixed an issue where the list of Bluetooth devices under Bluetooth and devices wasn't being read out by screen readers in recent flights. Related to Windows Update, Microsoft fixed the issue causing insiders in the dev channel to see their 0x800 7002 when trying to install cumulative updates. They also fixed an issue where using update and shutdown wasn't shutting down your PC upon completion. And related to other other fixes, they fixed an issue that was causing some insiders to see bug checks with critical structure corruption recently, and some other fixes, but we're gonna see the whole list of fixes in the article below. And also what is most important for gamers, especially most popular games, should work correctly again in the most recent insider preview builds in the Canary and Dev channels, so I think this is great because there were some issues in the previous builds. Also if you want to check out the whole list of known issues in this build, you can check out the article below. So this is basically the latest build for the Canary and Dev channels, if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Ozzy Manu from TechBase, until next time, have a nice day.